we got in touch with John Crossley, popular music production subject leader at the University of Derby, to see how the faculty is taking advantage of the Focusrite RedNet system. Uh, my name is John Crossley. Uh, I'm in charge of music production uh, here at University of Derby. Work with a team and we deliver music production, uh, music performance um, here in the recording facilities and, and elsewhere in the, in the university. We have students who range from performers, players, uh, right through to people who uh, specialise in music production, uh, involved in the studio and, and computer-based recording and so on. Um, and so we have a whole um, range of facilities from specialist studios through to kind of labs and rehearsal rooms and, and so on. This is the Mark Eaton Street campus that was uh, opened by Sir Richard Branson. This is our control room one. We've got our Neve, uh, classic Neve, 1985 uh, Neve desk. Um, and already we've got uh, RedNet up on the computer in here. And then carrying on, we've got um, control room two. which is our C24 room, again using Pro Tools HDX actually. It's got its own live room, but it's also linked through as well into the live room we were just uh, standing in as well. So, you know, again, gives us lots of flexibility. You can run it as two completely independent studios or some kind of combination using all the rooms in various ways. We have uh, a couple of RedNet 1s, the eight channel units. We have a RedNet 2, which is the 16 channel, and we have three RedNet 4s, which are the microphone preamps. Um, and the way we've got the system set up at the moment is we have a mobile rack, which has got the three uh, eight channel RedNet 4s um, with one uh, RedNet 1 in it. And what that allows us to do is with that mobile rack, we can wheel it into whichever room we're going to record from. Um, it gives us our 24 channels, uh, mic channels or, or DIs or whatever, they, whatever we need them to be. Plus, with the other eight channels, we can have extra DIs, or more importantly, we can feed signals back into the room for fold back and monitoring and so on. Um, and the other two units, the, the, the RedNet 1 and RedNet 2, they're in a smaller rack that tends to sit in wherever we're recording into if it needs us to basically come out of the digital domain into analog and connect into, for example, you know, an analog desk, for example. RedNet 5, I think, is really going to be the key. When, when the RedNet 5 is available and we've got it, uh, that means we can basically go directly from wherever recording straight into Pro Tools uh, because you know, we'll incorporate directly into the HDX system. Uh, and we're really excited about getting that system and getting it incorporated. RedNet is really interesting for us. One uh, a simple example is we often have uh, students wanting to record the pianos from the large auditorium and in the past we've had to set up an ad hoc studio in, in that room to do that whereas with the RedNet system of course because we have Ethernet cable running throughout the building because it is a new building um, we can easily pipe audio now from any rooms but use the control rooms to actually do the monitoring and recording which obviously gives us a much more flexibility and so on. I think my favourite thing about the, the Focusrite RedNet system, the fact that we have all these different spaces and the fact that we do lots of different things, particularly moving from room to room, you know, it's just that, that flexibility, I think, which is great.